Now let me show you how your Concrete Calc Pro's circle and arc functions can help you calculate circular concrete areas and volumes. It's great for circles, columns, silo pads, post holes, sauna tubes, or, or anything round. First off, the way you enter in a circle is you just put in the dimension. Let's call, make it a 12 inch diameter. So it says diameter there. Press it again, it gives me the surface area on top of that circle. Press it again, it gives me the circumference or the perimeter around that circle. That's how you enter circles. Um, so say we've got a job where we're going to do uh, sauna tubes, 18 inch diameter sauna tubes, 18 inch diameter sauna tubes, 3 feet high, so times 3 feet equals that much, times 10 of them. So you need about 1.9 cubic yards of concrete for those, let's add maybe 5% for waste, and we're right at 2 cubic yards for that particular job. You can also use the built-in column cone function for figuring out cylindrical volumes and cone volumes. Say we've got a 24-inch uh, diameter circle and we're going to make it uh, 8 feet high. 8 feet is our height. Now we'd hit convert and over the circle key it says column cone. First press will give me the column volume. That single column takes 0.93 cubic yards. Press it again. The column surface area, the square feet around that, so if you had to paint it or seal it or sheath it in something, that's 50 square feet of material. We press it again. This gives me the cone volume. So if you had a pile of material in a cone shape with that diameter and that height, that would be about a third of a yard. And press it one more time and it gives me the surface area around that cone, or the surface of the cone there. Um, another example I learned at the last World of Concrete show is a guy came up to me and asked if I could figure out the volume of a silo pad. And I thought that had something to do with rockets or spaceships, and he said no, it had to do with grain elevators. And he said it's 52 feet 7 inches in diameter. And I asked him how deep he wanted to pour it, and he said 8 inches. I said, okay, times 8 inch equals, there's your 53.6 cubic yards it takes to pour a silo pad. So that's a quick overview on the circle function and the column and cone functions. For more details, you can download our user guide at www.calculated.com support.